Friday morning capped off a busy night of work for SpaceX. After replacing the grid fin actuators and getting some testing done, teams at Starbase restacked Ship 25 on top of Booster 9 for what SpaceX hopes will be the final time. After SpaceX finished stacking its now fully integrated Starship launch vehicle, it took a lot of time to go around the perimeter of the orbital launch mount and make sure that all of the remaining debris was clear and out of the way. Of course, this launch will be the first launch demonstration of the new water deluge system, a system designed to protect that orbital launch infrastructure from the damage we saw during the first mission. And you really don't have to look very far to see what's left of that. Chunks of concrete are still scattered around this area, pretty much in most directions. You can find pieces the size of larger than your hand up to boulders that are resembling the size of a small carry-on item you take aboard a plane. But really with the weather being as it is today, just partly cloudy, a light breeze and plenty of sunshine, folks took this extra day that they thought they wouldn't even have because the launch was supposed to be Friday morning. So they took this time to come out and see flight hardware up close, some of them for the very first time. Former South African resident Ryan Vanekouk has been a big Rocket fan for years. Now living in New Braunfels, Texas with his wife and daughter, he says it was important to see Starship launch in person. It's unbelievable. I mean, this is a dream come true. I mean, I think about the amount of people around the world that would love to be able to come here, right? And they're all watching you know, on YouTube like we do from back home. Uh, and I think about me being back in South Africa, I would definitely have been glued to the, to the TV and looking at the screens to see this launch. So to be able to come here, see this and then be here with my family, it's pretty special. Many folks are like seven-year-old Ava here, seeing a rocket in person for the very first time. It's very crazy and I'm really surprised and I'm very happy. In an almost music festival-like atmosphere, dozens of people joined the Vanacooks to marvel at the nearly 400-foot tall Starship rocket before its planned weekend departure. It's amazing. As many of the videos I've watched, your videos and others, it's just, you know, you talk about being so close, but it's just completely different when you're here. It, it is, it's just, I, I don't know, it's life changing almost, just to see that we can actually get this close to the future. Starship has quite a feat ahead of it when it does launch. After a demonstration of the new water deluge system with a full launch profile, SpaceX's next goal is to successfully go through stage separation. For the first time, Ship 25 will fire its engines while multiple Raptors on Booster 9 remain lit in a move called hot staging. If all goes to plan, the Super Heavy booster will have a controlled splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico as Starship sails on towards a belly flop in the Pacific Ocean north of Hawaii. And while many of the folks who visited Starbase on Friday are just eager to see a launch in general, NASA officials will be watching the technical aspects of the mission closely. The human landing system version of Starship is a pillar of the first human missions to the surface of the moon through the Artemis program. While yes, these are early developmental uh, uh, flights and they're not uh, indicative of what uh, the human landing system Starship will, will be in that it doesn't have our life support, it doesn't have our comm system, it doesn't have those aspects but it is still very important and required. So for us, schedule is key, and we are working very closely with SpaceX on ensuring that this next test, making sure that they're ready for it, uh, understanding what they uh, hope to achieve from it, and understanding the risk. As Orbital Flight Test 2 draws closer, those who made the journey to see it, like the Vanacooks, say they're on pins and needles. And tomorrow is just gonna be incredible to be there, be in person, uh, be present, and then see this incredible rocket here, the most powerful rocket ever built, you know, take off tomorrow. It's, I, it's hard, I can hardly sleep, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be incredible. As SpaceX advertises, excitement guaranteed. Reporting at Starbase in Texas, Will Robinson Smith for Space Flight Now.